we are going to be reviewing a four table session played at by me at 100 no limit um, a little bit about this session I probably played about 50 hands to 100 hands on each table before I started recording the footage I wanted to get uh, a few stats on my opponents and just kind of an idea for how the tables were playing in terms of game selection I didn't really practice anything because I'm Chris and I do what I want but more importantly, I actually wanted to try and get, and sit in, you know, maybe some of the tougher games, get you kind of an idea of what it's like to play against the regulars at the stake again, you know, while inevitably, inevitably there's going to be fish at every table, I think it's good to, you know, also get experience playing against, you know, the players we're specifically looking to beat in this, in this, you know, stakes, basically the regulars. And, um, lastly, I just wanted to, uh, uh excuse me, um, kind of give you a quick rundown on how the session went. Um, I didn't think that this session, I actually thought this session was very interesting. Um, I did a lot of plays that, um, I don't think I did anything ridiculously spewy, but I made some thin calls that, you know, maybe we're losing, but I figured for extra educational value I'm going to call. Um, I made some plays that I thought were not very good, and we can go over why I didn't think they were good, and I also made some plays that I thought were smart, and we can go over why they were smart. But mostly I just want to try a lot of things out, you know, we're on video, we're, we're trying to kick back some knowledge here and show you what works, what doesn't, and uh, just kind of give you a rundown. So that's what we've got going on here, and I'm going to go ahead and start the video now. Um, just for... Um just for general information, I haven't seen this video yet, so I'm basically reviewing it cold, um, so there won't be any cheating. I don't know what, when Chris is here calling, I don't know what his opponent has, so I'm not going to be results oriented. Um, yeah, just FYI there. Um, but these, but my, my first, my first uh, observation is that these tables, um, particularly table, th oh no, not table three, um, but as I, just, as I just take a look around, there are definitely some opponents that you don't want to be playing against, so I'm pretty pleased, should lead to some interesting situations. Looks like we got some relatively strong um, players who will probably be giving us a bit of trouble, so um, should be some interesting spots, which is good. Table 4 particularly looks pretty bad. Um, pretty regular. Yeah, I'd, say, I'd say throughout the video, Table 4 was probably the most difficult right. table, um, as we'll see throughout the video. Mm -hmm. So here, first uh, first real decision in the video, uh, on table two, uh, a very, very weak player uh, limps under the gun and uh, seems to be a tight aggressive regular, raises from the, uh, raises from under the gun plus one. With king jack and 175 big blinds, I'm definitely just going to flat call here. Um, I've got no real value. I, you know, I see I go for three betting, but it really doesn't make sense, mostly because, I'm going to pause the video here super quick. I think this is a three bet that a lot of people go to make is they say, well, you know, my hand's probably ahead of the guy who's isolating wide and um, I have position, so why not three bet? Well, I think in this spot it really does kill the value of my hand. Uh, I'm not expecting to make a whole lot of money against, you know, a regular playing King Jack offsuit against his early position open. Where I'm expecting most of my value to come here from is flopping top pair against the fish and getting paid off for a lot of streets. Yeah, I agree. So I think, you know, three betting here, even with a hand as strong as ace queen, might kill the value of your hand because very often the fish is going to fold his like 10 4 offsuit and you're only going to take a flop 175 big blinds deep with, you know, a, a better player as opposed to, you know, potentially getting in. You know, 100 big blinds post flop against a guy who's got second or third. Pay. Yeah, I think like I think like with King Jack, um, I don't like to use the terminology um, value call, but I think this is basically a value call, basically just because it's not weak enough that you need to three bet here.